Hey there, uh, my name's Derek and I'm here today with... Oh, you want me to do that? Yeah, what's your name? Uh, hi, I'm Chelsea. I'm here today with GMO Free CT. I came all the way from Connecticut. We left at midnight last night. And uh, so that was a fun, nice, long bus ride down here to Maryland. You traveled um, by bus. About yeah. how many people were with you, Chelsea? Um, I think about like 35 or yeah. so on the bus. And how did you hear about this event? Um, I heard about it from Facebook and various emails. And why does this issue matter to you? Because food is a right for everyone and I'm working for food justice. I want to see labeling and equal access to food everywhere. That sounds really good. What, what is food justice? What does that mean to you? Food justice is a hard thing to define, but basically I would say it means everyone has something to eat that's healthy. Uh, there's been a lot of law enforcement here today. Um, yeah. What do you think <laughs> is the role of law enforcement in this event? Uh, intimidation, pretty much. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. Um, do you feel like you threaten the FDA in some way? <laughs> Um, I think that the police feel that we might threaten the FDA and hopefully the FDA is taking it a little as a threat because it is, you know. We're trying to get them to change some really important policy. Now, um, I imagine that you oppose aggression against peaceful people. Yes. Absolutely. Excellent. <laughs> so um, that's been the consensus here today, yeah. just so you're aware. That's good. And um, so I'm curious if you want a law that will um, force. Um, what is it that you want? Maybe I don't want to put words in your mouth, so maybe a you law, can just tell me what you want. Um, well, I'd like to see a labeling law that's really basic. I mean, we label country of origin, we label whatever else is in food. You know, you find calories, sugar, fat, all that stuff, uh, and so we should know if GMOs are in there too. It's pretty basic. Right, and so um, there are already companies that are voluntarily uh, labeling their own food, like Whole Foods, I think, yeah. has an initiative. Yep, in to five do years. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel about that? I think that's great. Um, I think some, some companies may be cashing in on it a little bit. Uh, Whole Foods What do you might mean? Be. Uh, well, because they see the movement. They see that labeling will get customers to purchase their things. How do you feel about uh, that? It's, it's good and bad. You know, if it gets more labeling, then it's good, but it's sort of bad to put people before profit. Uh, I'm, I want to know what you mean, but I'm not <laughs> sure what you mean. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, for that one, for people before profit, I guess I'm kind of more referring to Monsanto ah. uh, and, and big food corporations. Um, so how do you feel about Monsanto? I, you, like, a lot of the people here have um, knowledge, and uh, I've been impressed with the, the wealth of knowledge uh, that's here today about the organization. You know, what are yeah. just some general thoughts on, since you brought them up? Oh, what? sure. Um, I think Monsanto is one of the worst things that's ever happened to the entire world because they're, they're, they are, uh, excuse my French, but fucking everyone over. Um, because they're contributing to hunger, not, not eliminating it at all. And so what do you think the, the government's role in uh, allowing Monsanto to do the things that it's been doing? Uh, the government is definitely helping. They're, they're in bed with Monsanto. Uh, you know, the current CEO, is he? Michael Taylor of the FDA, you know, came from Monsanto. You can't, you can't uh, be, what's the word, sorry. Yeah, impartial. Yeah, you can't, yeah, you're not. You're totally biased when you work for both companies. I 100% agree with you. Um, <laughs> Thank you. And I, I, uh, I've, you've been very generous with your time. I yeah. just want to ask a, a final question. I've been asking this of everyone sure. uh, because everyone wants something different out of this event. Um, what a lot of people want, yourself included, as you stated, is a law that requires labeling of GMOs. Yeah. Um, do you have sympathy for small businesses and grocery stores that may not be able to afford to label GMOs? GMOs, and what do you think should happen to them? Um, I have sympathy for small businesses, of course, 
Uh, I think that the paperwork issue, uh, paperwork uh, before people, is what I said when I heard when I heard small businesses bring that up. Uh, it's it's not enough. I mean, there's. It's not like we're asking food that didn't have labels to have labels. It's just an additional couple of words. You know. Do you think that a person who refuses to label GMOs should be thrown in jail? Uh, not necessarily jail. It depends. I think on the situation. Uh, labeling is really important, and I think that it'll help their business if they label, you know, because it could say improved by genetically engineered, you know, organisms, but it's <laughs> right. not come out good at all. I, I agree <laughs> uh, with you, and uh, so, yeah, I, I'm just concerned personally yeah. that, um, that <laughs> So often when laws are written, uh, they are well intended and then the government gets involved and says, hey, we can screw yeah. the small guys and exactly. help our buddies out. Are you concerned at all that that might happen with this law? Uh, yeah, I mean, it de there's definitely a risk. There's always a risk for someone when, when there's laws pa being passed. Um, hopefully food companies can adapt and hopefully it'll, you know, they can work it out because we need to support sustainable agriculture through through our ingredients. Well, thanks so much, Chelsea. You've yeah. been more than generous with your time, and okay. I certainly appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you.